first driving started. Clean left turn. We're riding the back of an autonomous truck. Uh, it's about to take a left turn into oncoming traffic. So with their sensors... Building section clear. Left turn. It's accelerating on its own, it's braking on its own, it's steering on its own. So trucking in the United States is like a $700 billion a year industry, and it employs 1.8 million people. Thus far, it's been pretty immune to the changes of globalization and technology, but that's about to change with technology like this. Left turn. And in highway. There's an operator here, there's a safety engineer here, because they're still experimenting. It's still kind of in development. Still at 65. Have you put your hand on the wheel at any point? Not at all. This is like a pretty complex traffic situation. There are cars merging, there are cars passing us. This truck is changing lanes to go around slow traffic, anticipating when people are stopping. And honestly, I just like kind of can't believe it. It's, it's driving itself and it's doing a pretty good job. Right turn. Here we go, making our right turn into our driveway. We recognize that this is a highly disruptive technology on the order of 10 million people, and displacing rapidly that many people would have a dramatic societal impact. Mm -hmm. We certainly don't want to see that. We're not targeting that. We're focused on relieving a shortage. But what we're hoping is that there will be a natural evolution into the jobs of the future, just as there has been in every other technological change. What do you tell a trucker? We try not to tell truckers things, we try to listen. This is Chuck. Hello, Chuck. Chuck runs a company that is developing and is going to produce self-driving trucks that are autonomous that do it themselves. You guys are truck drivers? Yes, sir. How do you feel about it? The truck doesn't have a driver in it. Is somebody at headquarters sitting behind a monitor? No, there's a driver in there. No, the, the, in the future, when there isn't, you know, once it's fully tested and oh. we don't need to have a driver in, no in driver the vehicle. Assist. No, it's not driver assist. It is purely self-driving. So like a GPS, basically, you're going from point A to point B. There's GPS in it. There's a lot of tech, but mm -hmm. GPS is a part of it. Okay. He took me into one of his trucks today. We did like a 90-minute run up and down I-10. Traffic was merging in. It was, it was changing lanes. It was braking. It was accelerating. Really? It was like... So does it do really good when the cars cut you off? A car cut us off. And you know what? It didn't slam on the brakes. The truck just kind of kept rolling. How's your equipment handling the high winds? We're actually surprisingly good in, really? in high winds. How much weight in the trailer? We've gone empty and loaded. Empty and loaded? Yes, sir. We have very complex control algorithms, and now we hold it with such precision that it is perfectly straight. It's tough. You seem pretty impressed. Actually, yeah, I am. I, I wasn't all for it, but I mean, it's, I got I to gotta see this. That's laser, that's LIDAR. It's a laser, like a laser radar. What do you love about driving a truck? Oh, God, <laughs> I love to drive. Me, it's a privilege. It's a privilege to get out there, get behind a wheel of 80,000 pounds, drive that thing down the road, knowing, hey, you know what? I can do this, you can't do it. No, I can't. And I know I'm providing the U.S. I'm providing the world with whatever I got on the back of my freight. I deliver your clothes, your food that you're eating. Mm -hmm. A lot of people don't see that. And it's a good feeling as a driver, as a human being. You really got to have faith to rely on, is this going to kill me or? Yep, and we'll have to do a lot of testing to wow. prove that. All right. That's definitely different. Over the next year, we're building a fleet of 200 trucks, and we're going to be operating them day and night just to validate it, to prove it. We have to prove to you, we have to prove to the regulators, to the states, we have to prove to ourselves. When you asked me what would I do if I didn't drive, I can't honestly answer that because I really don't know what I would do. I'd, I'd be scared. <laughs>